Right, hi all. Tonight's the night I'm going out with my girlies, which means tomorrow I'm going to be a steaming hot mess. So to make both our lives easier, I've come up with a list of things you're going to have to do to get me through, okay? Okay. Okay. First of all, before I even wake up, go straight onto Facebook and look for any pics that are surfaced of me where I look anything less than a perfect print and untag that shit. Report to the Facebook police if you have to. Then you're going to have to get my phone and delete any cringe texts I've sent to exes, workmates, that fit guy from the coffee shop. And please, for the love of God, let me wake up now. Naturally, do not disturb. But when I do, I'll need a constant supply of coffee and painkillers. Anything too weak will be sent back. Throw in a surprise sugar, if you will. And please remember, my head is going to want to fall off. So communicate with me, not so much in words, but more in chicken nuggets and chips. I'll probably need some sort of sick bowl by my side, because let's be honest, an house fire is the only thing getting me out of bed. And of course, you'll need to hold me her back if I do vom. Back massages are essential. You'll also need to find me a series to watch on Netflix, something not too emotional, because I'll be in a fragile state, but something that'll distract me from the impending doom and recurring taste of Jaeger bombs. Oh, and a big one, check me online banking and break the news to me gently. In fact, if I've gone over me overdraft, I don't want to know. And last but not least, call in work and tell them I'm not coming in Monday due to me own death. Have you got all that? Or, just a thought here, Laura, you could just take it easy and not get yourself in such a state in the first place. <laughs> God, Kyle, you say some mad stuff, you. Take it easy, I'm not a nun. <laughs> oh, you do make me laugh. Don't wait up. I'm getting off my flawless face.